Kia ora koutou. hello everyone. Today we're going to be reading The Big Bed by Bunmi Laditon and Tom Knight. We need to talk about The Big Bed. I'm a reasonable person. I don't want to see anybody get their feelings hurt. Daddy, please sit down. I have no problem with you during the day. You're a wonderful wrestler. You're also very gifted at the art of the horsey ride. What I'm trying to say is that you are a valued member of this team, a VIP. Very important piggyback ride giver. But every night we struggle with the same question. Who does mummy belong to? Me or you? When day turns to night, it's normal for people to seek comfort. No one can deny that mummy is full of cozies and smells like fresh bread. Who wouldn't want to cuddle with her? Seeing as how there are two of us, but only one of her, we face a hard decision. Quick question, am I mistaken or don't you already have a mummy? Perhaps grandma is available to sing you to sleep three or four nights a week. I'm almost positive she'd be willing to tap your back for a few minutes. Science has proven that one of the many symptoms of bedtime is darkness. Daddy, are you scared of the dark? Because I am. I know you're convinced that my deep sea ocean wonder fishy light is some kind of night watchman, but you should know it creates more shadows than it banishes, and I can't sleep alone. Delicate question. Is it the pee pee? I looked it up online and you'll be thrilled to know that my tinkles are harmless. There are actually many benefits to waking up damp from liquid waste. You'll repel bears during the day. Ammonia smells and nature's alarm clock. No need to shower, you're already wet. Space is definitely an issue. I appreciate how you try to squish your body into the far lower right corner of the bed, but that's no way to live. Besides, you need a restful night slumber to prepare for the day of text messaging and telling me no. Daddy, I see you. I hear you. You'll be thrilled to know that I've come up with a solution that you are sure to find not only satisfactory, but also quite generous, if I do say so myself. Ta-da! Every night can feel like a camping trip with a metal and canvas cot. With this almost twin-sized portable mountain bed, you'll feel like an honorary park ranger and look like one too. Look, this one's even on sale. Okay, okay, Daddy, hold on. I can already feel your resistance. You don't have to start out the night sleeping on your special nature box. We'll all cozy up together in the big bed, and once you're nice and asleep, Mummy and I will gently roll you onto your big boy bassinet. I'll be right next. It'll be right next to ours if you need anything, anything at all, except being next to us. You can't have that. In the morning, feel free to come and join us again. Quietly though, okay? We're resting. I presented this idea to mummy earlier and she laughed and laughed, which I took as two thumbs up. I hope you're as excited as I am. Tell you what, tomorrow we're going to pick out your special new sheets for your awesome sleeping rectangle. Mummy and I just want you to be happy. The end. Do you like sleeping in your parents' bed? It could be fun being in a big bed, can't it? Well, 
I hope you like that story and I hope you're having a great day. I'll see you next time.